Okay, first of all, I'm going to tell you how we're going to turn the canvas. Um, remember, this is a rectangle. It's got two short sides and two long sides. I want you to make sure the short sides are on the top and the long sides are on the sides. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is in the very middle, I want you to draw a heart with your pencil. You're going to draw it in pencil in case you make a mistake. You may still see the pencil with the watercolor, but you're going to go over everything with a sharpie. Okay, so step one is a heart. You see, I didn't like how I did this side of the heart right there. So I am going to erase and I'm going to make it go a little bit higher. There we go. I like that a little better. Oh, maybe a little rounder. There you go. Okay, so I've got my heart. That's step one. Remember, pause the video if I go too fast. Step two is I want you to make a circle going around the heart, just like that. This is going to be the body of the bee. Okay? Your next step, after you do the big circle around the heart, now remember, pause it if I'm going too fast. Sorry, I'm still fixing that heart. Okay, your next step is to give your bumblebee, which is what we're making, some wings. very bottom, I've got to give my bee a little stinger, so I'm going to go down and give it a little arrow down here. You could also make this a little heart if you want to make it very loving. Okay. Now, my next step is to add words in the middle. The words that we were going to write are be mine. So, 
B is normally spelled B-E, but because it's a bumblebee, you add an extra E. So it's B, E, E. And if you didn't give yourself enough room in the heart, don't worry about it. Don't write it. You can just make it a beautiful, beautiful heart when you go back and paint it. Mine is spelled M, I, N, E. So it says B, mine. And now, I'm going to go through and I'm going to add just some more heart just to kind of fill in the background. Maybe you want to have your bumblebee flying in the clouds, or maybe you just want to make it blue back there. Like they're flying in the sky. Okay. Now, this is normally where I go take a break and get a drink of water, and then I'm going to come back and cover every single one of my lines with my black Sharpie. That's the best, best part of using pencil is if you make a mistake, now it's the time to fix it before you go back over it with Sharpie. Okay, I'm going to pause the video because you guys don't want to have to watch me go over everything you just saw with Sharpie, do you? Alright, so, here we go. Okay, there it is, all covered in Sharpie. Something that you can do since you use the pencil is go back and erase, if you want to, any of the lines that you um, didn't end up using with your bee. Just make sure that you kind of brush them off because you don't want them to get stuck in the watercolors. And keep in mind, like, if your hands are dirty like mine, um, that every time you use your hand to sweep the eraser shavings off, you're going to scrape it on there. But I don't really mind. It's rustic. All right, Greta wants to come help me with the painting part. Do you want to come here, Greta? Okay, here she comes. The first color, now remember, for watercolors, you're going to want to brush your watercolors and a paint tub. The first thing I want you to do, Greta, is dip your paint in the water. Okay, then tap, tap, tap. Okay, now I want you to come to the red and kind of wake it up. Move it around. Good job, good job. You might need a little bit more water in there because this paint is kind of old. Okay, now I want you to go to the heart where it says be mine and I want you to paint the heart. Yep. It's okay if you go outside the line. Very careful. I am going to pause while she paints. I love this part. I'm going to snap. Okay, so Greta just went to go wash her hands. She did a beautiful job on the heart here. And you see, she did get a little bit of the pink from her hands right there, but that's just going to add to the beat. Alright, the next color that I'm going to do is blue because it's really time consuming. So it's good to do it before you get too tired. And the blue is going to go outside the rest of the heart. Okay, so I picked up more um, water and I spread it on there, on the um, blue to kind of wake it up. And I'm going to paint around everything, but if I go over it a little, it's okay. It's watercolor, right Greta? Yeah. Okay, so Greta's going to paint the rest of the blue for me and I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to sit there for that. Okay, so this took Greta a while. She did a great job with the blue, but she does, does want you guys to know she had to wash her arm afterwards because the blue went all the way up her arm. Okay, so the blue is mostly dried now, so we're going to start on the body of the bee. And what color are bees? Yellow. I get the great choice of getting to choose my yellows, um, but I'm going to choose the lighter, so I wake it up. And I am going to start painting the inside of the bee around the mouth. If your red's not dry yet, like mine, it'll kind of bleed into it, which is actually um, kind of pretty. Yeah. So yellow, sorry. Okay. We're also going to paint the stripes black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow. So I'm going to start with that. So the next stripe is going to be black. And so then this one, yellow got a little bit of green in it. Yeah, I might do the stripes this time, Greta, okay? I'm sorry, sweetie. Okay, there, I kind of switched my yellows because my other one got too much green in it from the last time. Yellow. And my bottom one will be yellow. Okay, and my next I'm gonna color the paint the wings in yellow. 
yellow. And I'm going to let them dry again and maybe come back and add a little bit more color there. Just a little bit. There you go, you pretty lovely butterfly. Or bumblebee. Oh, it's been a long day for me. Okay, so there's the yellow parts of my bumblebee all painted in. I'm going to take back this area. Let me see if I can wash it and let the yellow come back. All right, a little green there. That's okay. Now I'm going to let this dry before I start my black step. Okay, I'm back and it's dried just a slight bit. So I'm going to start down here with my stinger. That's going to be painted black. Okay, oh, you can't see. I just painted that black. I'm going to go to the first stripe and go in there. I'm going to go to the next stripe. And I still have a little bit of yellow drying right there, so I'm going to be kind of up there and I'm anyways, kind of blend together. Colors kind of blend together there. That's nifty. Okay. Now, remember how I said I was going to go back to the wings and do a little extra deep design? They are still too white or too wet. But my hearts that are everywhere are ready to be painted because the blue around that um, has dried. So I'm going to go back to my red and I'm going to paint in my little hearts that are all around the board. There we go. You can see them a few big clouds and sets, and obviously you can just leave them blank, or if you happen to have a watercolor set that has white, you can fill it in, you can make it storm clouds. Your parents are going to love however you make this. There you go. Okay, kind of giving this guy some beauty. Okay. Now my wings are mostly dry, so I'm going to find the orange give them that accent color and I am going to paint a little orange in the middle of each wing. I saw one online that had little hearts here painted but I'm just going to give like a little oval shape there just to give it some accent. And then my beautiful bee is all finished. I am so excited. I need to let it dry but I can't wait to give this to somebody for Valentine's Day or just because I love them. All right.